What's going on, guys? This is David Rhodes, and welcome to PNP. Now, today, the breakdown is going to be about the rookie running backs in fantasy, which ones are worth taking. We'll just break down a couple of them here and there. But before I get started with that, make sure you like and subscribe the channel. And also, if you want to go ahead and get your hands on that lawnmower 4.0, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using the code PNP. Again, 20% off and free shipping using the code PNP at manscaped.com. Now, when it comes to, to fantasy football and it comes to the rookie, I think everybody likes to go ahead and shoot for the stars when it comes to the rookie position, rookie positions. And, and in my opinion, you need to kind of tread lightly with that. Um, I don't, and I think one position in particular that rookies tend to be um, shooting for, like drafted more often to is the running back position and the wide receiver position and the quarterback positions as well. Pretty much all of them. Um, but overall, man, like I think the key when you start thinking about it for the running backs, um, and this this video is going to be focused on that. We're going to do another one on wide receivers and another one on quarterbacks as well. Um, but when you start thinking about like the running back position, I think the big key is you got to have some level of, of awareness of what else is going on in that backfield. And you have to legitimately feel like this person can legitimately take the job. And so when I started doing the research on everything that's going on and who drafted who, I picked a few players to just have a discussion about their odds of actually taking over as the job, taking over the job, what the ceiling is, and things of that sort. So let's not let's not delay any further and let's get to it. All right, so let's talk about the rookie running backs. Now these these four guys, and there's and I, I get it. There were there were an abundance of running backs that were taken that were taken in the draft, but these four guys kind of stood out a bit to me. As somebody, as players that are going to potentially get some type, get some level of work. So let's let's break this down a bit. Like I think when you want to talk about somebody that could potentially have a decent workload out of these four guys, there's probably two to think about. There's two players to think about, and that's Najee Harris, who got drafted to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Michael Carter, who got drafted to the Jets. All right, those two guys have the potential to take the, the, the running back one role for their particular team, okay? Travis Etienne, I think when we initially heard it, we were saying, man, they got James Robinson. Why would you take him? And they were talking about, oh, he's going to be a third down back. And, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's interesting. But that also tells me that there's a potential that they might let this man take the role, even though I think that's a mistake. But I'm not running the team. I think James Robinson did more than enough to keep his job, but I have a funny feeling that Travis might impact James Robinson than what we're thinking at this point. For them to take a running back in the first round tells me they're going to try to give that man some work. Javante Williams is an interesting set. I mean, he has Melvin Gordon the third. Historically, Melvin Gordon has struggled with injuries, so that might be an opportunity point for him. And there was a lot of other teams that took running backs, but their backfield is a mess. Like, the Dolphins took a running back. Their backfield has already got Miles Gaskin. You know what I'm saying? The New England Patriots took a running back. They got Michelle, James White. They got all these running backs. The 49ers took a running back. You know how big of a mess that backfield is, and you got Mostert at the front. So, like, out of the running backs that I think that could do damage potentially early in the fantasy season, these four come to mind in my head. Now, the ones that can likely get the starting job, Michael Carter of the Jets, Najee Harris of the Steelers. Where you should draft them, um... Pay attention to the preseason. I could see folks legitimately put their put their head to take Najee Harris in the second round. A lot of folks ain't going to pay attention to Michael Carter of the Jets, but you might can get better value with Michael Carter of the Jets. Probably like in the fifth, sixth round, I would be willing to take a chance on that because I think he's going to win the starting job there. But you got to because and you consider the fact that the Jets are going to have a rookie quarterback. They're likely going to want to run the ball more, so that's in the potential for that man to get the work, especially if he ends up winning the job in, with New York. Um, but, like, if I had to rank them, for me, it's going to be Harris, Carter, Ntn, Williams. And anybody else, I don't know if I want to touch from a rookie standpoint. Unless there's a lot of injuries going into training camp in the preseason. And then maybe the chart will change. Now, we're talking we're talking um, the middle of May, right? So, when you think about the middle of May, it, it could be a lot of things that could change between now and then. But when I, when I looked at who got drafted and where these players went, these four players came to mind that are definitely draftable. And for the folks that are in Dynasty, 
these are probably still your top four players to think about from that standpoint as well if you if you got to grab some rookie running backs. Not in this particular order. I probably would have Carter as number two. Najee Harris would be one. But these are probably the four guys. These are the top four guys in my eyes. I mean, some people think Chuba Hubbard for, from the Panthers. I originally had him on here, but I took him off because Chris McCaffrey's there. McCaffrey's going to get all the work. Like, Najee and Carter has a good chance to get the bulk of the work at their particular teams. Travis Etienne, depending on what they want to do with James Robinson, he might have the potential to get a lot of the work there as well. They were playing him at wide receiver during the um, rookie camp. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, but, you know, these are the four I was thinking about. These are the four that you focus on. Um, keep an eye on these four. We'll see if I was right or if I was wrong with regards to who's going to win the starting job. I think there's opportunity with Najee Harris because James Conner's not there anymore. So, you know, you know, so I think he has the potential to walk in there and be the starter. I think that's I think that's the most likely scenario, and Michael Carter will be second. But I don't think a lot of folks have been talking about Michael Carter with the Jets. But that running that backfield and in, in the Jets aren't isn't exactly that good. So that's an opportunity for him to potentially get that job. All right. So that's all I have about the running backs, man. Um, I'm pretty sure my other discussions for the other positions are going to be more interesting, to say the least. It's going to have more details because for my other ones, I actually have more players on that list. So with that in mind, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us at Panther Nation PC on Twitter. Follow me at ChampD1012 on Twitter. Join the Patreon. I'm going to do more fantasy stuff on the Patreon as well. Um, Panther Nation PC, link will be in the description below. And with that in mind, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Hey.